Two questions I ask myself every day. Why didn't I go to the barbershop before the quarantine? And how bad would I look if I did it myself? So today's episode is going to be how to find the new normal. And like many of you, I am trying to figure that out myself. As you can see here, this is a moving tote, and I'm in the middle of a move, just like many of you watching right now. My apartment was evacuated due to health reasons outside of coronavirus, but coronavirus is not making the move any easier. And like many of you watching, I'm dealing with a move and school and family and general anxiety. So this is a very hectic time for me too. Two things I want to um, say though is, one is motivation. A few of my undergrads that I mentor have asked me, how do you stay motivated in this very chaotic time? And I don't think you should, at least not in the first few weeks, just because we're in the middle of transition and this coronavirus situation, this quarantine specifically has been unprecedented. Um, my mother generation didn't really, didn't really have anything like this. And my grandma's generation, maybe the Great Depression, but this coronavirus is like completely brand new and it's okay to feel unmotivated. Me personally, um, I'm very unmotivated with my work. Lab shut down about a week ago, and since then I have not analyzed a single piece of data. I've been focusing on moving, and I've been focusing on um, myself. I've been sleeping a lot more than I should probably. I've been talking to family members. I've been doing a lot of things and school is in the like the back of my mind like for me like I'll get to it when I'll get to it and I say that because so I consider people's emotions like a gas tank and just follow me just for a second because um I think it's like a car right um when you have a car you drive and then your car runs the gas so you go to a gas station to fill up the tank again I think that's how humans are as well. Um, and because of this chaotic time, we're, feel, we're filling up this emotional gas tank much more often than we normally would. But I think that's a good thing, just because you need to be good now so you can be better later. And I personally don't want to follow the advice, just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. The second thing I want to talk about is productivity. And I just want to say productivity before coronavirus is out the window. And this is not to say you shouldn't do your best every day. You definitely should. But again, I think the focus should be on yourself more so than trying to get everything you need to do. I know this is difficult because if you're anything like me, which you probably are, since you're thinking about grad school, you're probably a high achiever and you're probably very ambitious. And ambitious, high drive people like to push, push, push. And they like to suppress everything. But like I said with the emotional gas tank, this is a very stressful time. Because it's a very stressful time, you should definitely focus on making sure you're okay to do the work before you actually do the work. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. That definitely makes sense, maybe. Anyway, it's okay to be distracted. It's okay not to be as productive as you used to be. The main focus is moving forward. Sometimes moving forward means you have to take more breaks. Sometimes it means you have to stop. Sometimes it means you have to slow down. But I think it's forward progress as long as you're taking care of yourself um, emotionally and mentally. It's great if you're still making forward progress to your goal, but at this point, I don't think it's necessary. I just think the number one thing is you stay healthy in order to make your goals. Anyway, this was gonna be a quickie, and I'll see you next time. This is Future PhD, Dr. Reed, signing out. Bye-bye.